Hey, what's going on, y'all? My name is Real Yigan, and I just got an urge to teach people how to fix things. So today's video is going to be about how to fix the Spotify error where it says, sorry, Spotify can't play this song right now. If you have the local file, try playing it from there or something to that effect. And it happens to every single song that you try to play. So what happened to me was anytime I do any major windows update or like update my BIOS, it just happened to me now. It does that. So I'm going to be teaching you how to fix that, or at least what's worked for me every single time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and open up Spotify. I don't have there anymore because I just fixed it and I don't know how to just get it manually. <laughs> so going to open up Spotify and you know, I don't have it right now, so it won't work. Um, but the way you fix it is you go into your settings and you type audio settings or audio sound settings. Then you go, you see your sound settings here, go all the way down to the bottom where app volume and device preferences. Then you go up to the top. And what's happening, at least for me, is Spotify, my computer, when it updates, it's scrambling all the audio inputs. And so Spotify isn't able to play because it completely took away the audio input. So usually if you just switch to a, the wrong audio input, like, uh, you know, real tech audio or headphones or whatever, it just you just won't be able to hear the audio. But the music will still play. Well, when you do a Windows update, or in my case, when you update the BIOS, it completely removes the input selection. It's not on, it, it won't even show default. And so what you have to do is go to Spotify. You don't see it down here. To get it to show it, you just click Spotify and it should just pop up, play, bam. So now Spotify popped up, you can, Push now Spotify. All right, now what you want to do is select your default um, audio inputs. So for me, my default for my Spotify premium, I have an audio interface. You choose whatever you have. Most people don't have audio interfaces. So they would choose like real tech speakers or high definition speakers, or if they only have headphones, headphones, whatever it is. For me, it's going to be system HTC Helicon. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's not going to be that. It's actually going to be music because I have a slider set to music. So my Spotify is going to be set to music and the default. I don't need one because it's, I don't, I'm not going to be talking in Spotify, but if I did, I set it to chat mic. Um, so for the rest of these discord, I'm going to just do the same thing right now. So that's going to be set to the chat volume. This is going to be set to the chat mic. And then my system defaults, you got to make sure you have your system defaults on point because otherwise none of this stuff will work, right? Anything you have set to default won't work. So you go up to the top to output and then my system default is system. My system default for input is chat mic. Bam. So now I'm going to have my chat mic and my audio set to my main channel on my audio interface. And now go back to Spotify. You get the audio that works for me. 100% of the time I tried clearing cash. I tried clearing app data. I tried sending the crossfader to nothing. I tried so many things, but what actually ends up happening is this value just completely gets removed. It doesn't even go to default. And so you just have to go in and reset that. I hope that helps. I hope this tutorial was not too long. And if you want more, just go ahead and give a like, maybe subscribe, maybe just a comment saying thank you. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for being real, Yiggins. I'm out.